Many people buy 3D printers like the Ender 3 Pro just because they are easily modified. Here are some modifications you can do at home. This first modification has no real functionality, it just looks cool. And that's why I added it. The second modification is the same thing. The button for the rotary encoder is kind of lame, so I changed it. And that's what I love about this printer. You don't like something on it, you just change it. As many will find when they start 3D printing, the nozzle gets dirty because you're push, pushing melted plastic through a tiny hole, it's gonna get messy. So, you need to change them every so often. So buying a pack of a bunch like this is really cheap and it keeps your printer in tip top shape. Many 3D printers like the Ender 3 Pro come with tools to help fix your printer when it's broken and you can print things to hold them on this V slat or 4020 or whatever you want to call it and they just slide right on and it's perfect for holding all your tools so they're easy and accessible. This next modification doesn't quite improve the functionality, but it improves the looks. As with most FDM 3D printers, you need to send G codes to the printer from an SD card like this one. And over time, you will wear out your SD card reader by putting it in and out of the printer. So to help that problem, I bought this and it is a full SD card instead of micro SD card adapter so that one it doesn't wear out my printer's uh, SD card reader but it also takes full SD cards. That took a heck of a lot longer to put that card in there than it should have. So yeah, I 3D print a lot of fan ducts, but this is a holy grail of Ender 3 fan ducts, the Sestana, and you can add this super cool fan cover that it looks like a biohazard and it makes it just so cool. Another modification you can do is make your 3D printer direct drive. I will be making a video about this next time. I have some bad news. Modifying your 3D printer can and will break it if you do it incorrectly. Right here you can see I tried to upgrade it to a all metal hot end but I messed that up. This is a Raspberry Pi and you can put a program called Octoprint on it and you can make sick silky smooth time lapses that grab the viewer's attention. However, my firmware on my 3D printer does not support this so that is quite a problem. Common with Silk PLA, durability is not one of its key features and as you can see here it broke one of my prints which was a belt tensioner. This next modification is less of a modification and more of maintenance. Your silicone sock that traps heat in your hot end will eventually need to be replaced so make sure you replace it every so often. And that's it. That's all the modifications I have done so far. There are many many more. You just have to do a simple search.